email. Hello everybody. Welcome to a new series we're going to start on my channel here called The Robot Rehab. We're going to be repairing all kinds of things. I've got a Sphero Ollie over there. We've got some Arduino Bot stuff coming up. We may be doing Cosmo repairs in the future. But for this one, we're going to talk about Cosmos Power Cubes. Now, in my review video of these, I told you about the internal battery that these have. And so today, for the first inaugural episode, I'm going to show you how to change the battery email. I'm going to show you how to change the battery on these cubes. It's real simple. You need a screwdriver. I, now, uh, I'm going to plug a kit here. I've got, don't buy those iFixit kits like at all. They're really expensive. I bought this kit. This is the HyperTuff 65-piece screwdriver set. This is about $8 at Walmart. If you don't have a Walmart in your area, find a grocery, find a local supermarket that's like a Walmart. Now, without further ado, you're going to need your precision screwdriver and a good-sized Phillips bit, kind of small but not too small. And what you're going to do is on the bottom of the cube here, there is a screw. And real simple. We're just going to loosen this screw. It's captive. So we'll hang on, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pop that off like that. It's going to make a little click. Don't worry, you haven't broke your cube. And the screw here, it's a captive screw, so it's going to hang on. And then inside of here, we have a slot with a battery. Now, in my review, I pointed out the batteries. These are a Type N E90. Ignore the background noise. Now then, I'm actually going to put this battery back in. And the way it goes in is it goes in with the positive up top. Now the positive, there's two ways to identify the positive. Very simply, if you look at the battery, there's a positive. And see it tells you right there it's an NE90. But there's also a little dimple on top of the battery. And you want the dimple up top. Insert the battery. And then what you're going to do is you're going to look at here. And you see the screw hole here. It's going to made up with the screw that's on the bottom of the cube. Really simple. I'm going to insert the cube. Now when you plug it in, I'm going to unplug it again. So you can see it. I'm going to plug it in. Make sure that it loses connection completely. It's going to flash like this. That lets you know that the cube is powered up and ready to go. If you don't get that, then you need to take the cube back apart and check things out. And then at the end, you're just going to take your little screwdriver and run down the screw. Now then, to make sure that Cosmo sees the cube, in this case we are looking at this one. Let me adjust my camera here so that you can see it. And I'm going to simply go ahead and hit Cosmo Live here. And what I'm gonna watch for, I'm gonna watch for all three of my cubes to wake up. My cubes have waked up. When they all, when they all three flash green, we know that the cubes are awake. That's it. We fixed up. We have repaired the Cosmo Power Cube. I know we all want to play with Cosmo, but for the sake of this demo, if we can get him right back to sleep. Woke him up from Power Suit just to show you that the cubes do in fact work. So that's it. We repaired a power cube for the Cosmo Robot.